so we're going to be going to the homeschool store right now. We just got finished with his appointment. And now we are headed to pick out some curriculum. The kids are not allowed in the homeschool store we, unless we make an appointment early or late. It's anybody under 15 or 16, they don't want going in there. So he'll have to wait in the car, but that's just what they're doing. We do have masks. We could try to get in there with masks. I don't know. But we'll, we're going to go look around for some curriculum. Here I am at the homeschool store. They wouldn't let him in. And they wouldn't buy um, some chapter books that I had, a whole set. That was a fun day with Ethan and mom today. Yeah. We took him to the doctor. That wasn't bad. He was very nice. Our first time visiting that doctor just for a checkup. It was his turn. And yesterday you had dentist, all of you guys did. And then we went to the homeschool store for hours and picked out all the curriculum for next year. So we got a lot, a lot, a lot of curriculum here. Um, tons. <laughs> so all this and then all what's in the back we got some manipulatives i'm going to show your manipulatives for um fractions and what else other one did they have uh, multiplication? multiplication okay and they didn't have division fractions. but yeah multiplication and division and uh fractions will be very helpful i'm glad you saw those yeah and know how to use them all right we gotta get the navigator going hey everyone it is the 15th of May and as you can see it started pouring down rain just as I was walking to my car from getting my mammogram and I was parked way out here because they only have one maybe two entrances to the whole hospital there might even just be one entrance but it, you know it's getting kind of crowded where everyone's checking in but once I walked out it started kind of coming down and then closer I got to my car it started pouring about 50 minutes close to an hour to drive to get back to the campground we thought you know once our appointments are over we have the liberty to go traveling again so we're doing that um, we're just gonna be here at least at least through next week I would say so we'll be here another week at least and then we can go on and go ahead to where we're going for the summer, which will be, we'll just have to wait and see. So we'll be meeting up with someone and have some new adventures. I can't wait, I can't wait for this year to play out. And I just saw some mean lightning right over there and it came straight down. Ooh, that's scary. I do not like driving in this stuff. And I have an hour's drive. Long way. Well, it's only like 31 miles, 30 miles or so from here, but it's going to take a while. There was no rain when I came over to my. Woo! Goodness, there's the thunder from that lightning. Yep. Yeah. So I got this to look forward to for the next hour, but I love the rain. I just don't like driving in it. about 32 miles it'll take us about 50 minutes that's how spread out it is around here we have to every time I go to an appointment it's in a different city or town so I have to drive and drive an hour every time I want to go somewhere but now we're leaving so we have to take the RV and the car we're gonna be going and downsizing again which is always great I love purging stuff I'm not a stuff person anymore. I do not like stuff. So we have a lot of old stuff we need to put in storage and then when we, whenever we do get rid of our storage or change it or whatever, move it, we can, we can throw a bunch of stuff away. We were gonna get up really early, but I didn't even go to bed till four o'clock, three or four o'clock in the morning. It's 75 right now and it's not even noon. So it's gonna get probably about, I would say probably about 85. So we're going to go and 
get to work. It's super hot today here and super humid. We just got finished at our storage. We have still have a five by 10, a kind of a small storage. It's not, probably not even half full, but we have just a few things that we have to leave here. We're heading off to Lake Conroe RV Camping and Resort in Willis, Texas. We'll see you there. We're gonna kind of go a little bit, not really out of the way, like three minutes slower. It's not that much further away. We're gonna try to cut some of the busier roads. The scenic route. We used to live out here. I'm not gonna drive by our place. Oh, if you want to see our place, you can go to our first video because we're in the we had the RV at our house in the yard out in the country. You can go to our first video. I'll try to put a link to it up in the corner here. And that was where we were living at the time when we decided to go full-time in the RV. We had purchased our RV. Uh, in June, it was the very end of June, and we didn't take off until, we didn't take off until October, or September, and then we went to Oklahoma, and then from Oklahoma we went to Arizona. Go catch up on those videos if you haven't seen them, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe too. Well, if this spot works, we're right by the little lake. Since the pool isn't open yet, we can always go in the lake here. It has a picnic table. I'm just waiting for Steve to get here. There's some dumpsters there. It looks like the clubhouse was closed. It looked like the pool was closed. The playground is closed. But there are many people out enjoying the beautiful day. And it looks like people are in the lake. So I guess there's a beach access. But we're just sitting here in the car waiting for Steve to get here to see if the electric and everything works on this site. Hoping it does because this one looks to have a large yard like all around where the kids can get out and play on evenings like this that's not too hot. You got your buddy there with you? your ball buddy yeah you love your ball okay lay down and go back to sleep lay down night night take a nap now it smells so good in here I'm searing some beef for some beef stew put it in the crock pot and add all the veggies probably some potatoes and let it cook all day long. Just cutting up the meat, giving it a nice light flour, and I'm throwing it in the hot oil, and then over to the crock pot. Deglazing my pan, I'm gonna make a little bit of roux to put in my pot, and then cook the meat for a while before I add my veggies. There we go. Now I'm just whipping up a little pot roast gravy, kind of a roux, I added a little bit of flour. Just a little bit left over from what I cooked the meat in. And I just seared the meat a couple of minutes just to get the out, outer edges a little crispy before putting them in the crock pot. Since we're plugged in, I'm able to cook in the crock pot. If you were on solar, you probably wouldn't want to do this unless you have a ton of 
solar or whatever. I'm not sure how much it takes, but I've been waiting to be plugged in to make this meal. And finally, I was able to find the stew beef. So I'm going to get that. Now, I'll probably wait to add some of the veggies. I started cutting up the celery here. I'm going to add carrots. I'm also going to add potatoes and onions. I'm just making a simple stew with the traditional veggies. Oh, and I added garlic to the crock pot here. I'll show you. Lots of fresh garlic that I cleaned, peeled, and cut up. Big chunks of garlic in there. So good. Now this was leftover pot roast gravy from another meal that I had frozen. So what I'm doing is just bringing this to a boil, which it is now. I had melted all the um, frozen broth and I added a brown gravy packet here. And before it overflows, I'm gonna put it in my pot, in my crock pot. Just pour it right over that beef. Mmm, that's gonna be so good. I have the crock pot on high right now getting it nice and heated up and then I will let that rest for a while on high simmer there and then I'm gonna add my veggies here in a little while to add just a little tip when I cut up my celery because we eat a lot of celery like in salads and with hummus and just paint plain sometimes they eat it with peanut butter but we eat a lot of it so I always keep the the top of the celery, the leafy part. Remember my celery stalks, this is where they are now. This has been a couple of weeks later and they've grown quite a bit. So um, even if I just have to use the leaves of those, I will, but I save these from the ones that I cut off and cleaned and I'll add that to my, to my stew. All right, now look at that. How colorful those veggies are. I'm just putting some more pink Himalayan sea salt in there on the top put a little bit of my evergreen seasoning a little bit more in there that's gonna be so good that is so pretty okay I've got it on high I've got it a little bit stirred up put my lid on no that's not the right lid let me get my glass lid that's what I'm talking about now I can see through it check on it throughout the day and if it looks like it's just getting done too quickly because I don't want it tough, I'll just turn it to low. In the meantime, it's on high, nice and hot, and we'll check later. A couple, av a couple of hours in, and this is what it looks like. Ooh, I turned it from high to low because it's really boiling right now. And I don't really want it boiling, I want it more simmering watching movies after their work today. They're pretty much finished for the year. So we'll be doing some testing and stuff for the next week until Memorial Day. I almost forgot to film the end result, but it's really good. We cooked it for a little, about five and a half hours. What is it? It's amazing. Good. You like nap? It's great. Yep. And here it is. It's really good.